what's going on ladies and gentlemen this is a video of how to change the led light strips via twitch chat through the channel points now you can do it through command as well if you want to but uh through channel points um let's go ahead and just change it to blue and let's go ahead and redeem that and now it changed it to blue you can also mess around with uh, the stream deck too if you want to change it to like a different color to red um but uh, I'm using a product called Nextlux or something like that. The links will be in the description. Uh, that's the brand that I'm messing around with. There's other brands out there. Um, I don't know if it's going to work with uh, with the services that we're going to be using. It's called If Then Then That. It's a five dollars a month fee um, or four to five dollars a month fee. So you know there's going to be some cost to that. So I'm just going to let you know. Um, if this is something that you're interested in, then continue on with the video. We're using the Mix It Up application. We're going to go ahead and just jump into the video of how to configure this once you get all of your products and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. If you have the product, you want to download uh, an app called the Magic Home Pro. It's completely for free. And once you are in that, uh, you want to click on the hamburger menu, then third party services third party services be sure that you uh link your if then then that the if ttt here on the bottom left corner uh, you're going to touch that then it's going to ask you to make an account then it's going to allow you to uh, allow modifications towards your led light strips but we're going to do this here on the computer so be sure to link your account through the third party services here on the app Check out Restream.io. It allows you to restream towards to multiple platforms all at once from your OBS or XSplit or whatever streaming platform you are using. You can stream towards to Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, etc. Now, why would you do this? You can get that extra exposure because such platforms are really hard to grow on and you can build an audience. Now, if we check over onto the Restream platform, you can see the entire list that will allow you to stream. And here at the bottom here are the premiums. So you can stream towards your personal profile on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. You can even double the channels if you have multiple channels. Um, if we go back towards our uh, destinations here, you can toggle which ones you want to stream to all at the same time. And we can just, you know, with a simple of a switch. If we also click on the update titles, we can simultaneously change the channels of the title, the description, and if we're playing a game, we can change through the pre-selected listings here, or we can go ahead and just type in uh, whatever game that is not listed and it'll update it on those platforms. So give Restream IO a try here today for free. Now that we're on our computer, what you need to do is go to mixitupapp.com and download it. It's completely for free. Once you've downloaded it and installed it, what we want to do is go towards to uh, if then then that, ifttt.com. Um, log into your account, and what we want to do is we're going to create a applet. So go ahead and click create, then applets. Then create your own. So click on the black uh, box where it says if this. And we're going to type in webhooks. And we're going to click on receive a web request. And this is where we're going to start to uh, name specifically what our uh, LED RGB strip can do. I shouldn't say LED, but RGB strip. So um, I'm going to call it gaming strip or just gaming for short, then underscore red. So this will identify once this trigger is requested, it'll change it to red. So uh, create trigger, then add that. Uh, we're going to type in magic home or um, magic hue is what we wanted. Magic hue. And now you have all these options. You can turn off the lights, you can turn on the lights, uh, toggle between the two, change the brightness, so on and so forth. What we want to do is change the color. And so it will uh, show up for which, um, uh, which device that you have. I named my LED light strips gaming strip, and you can see I have all these other strips. So we're going to select the gaming strips. Um, the way to identify this is once you synchronize your RGB light strips, it will be through the Magic uh, Home app and it'll tell you to uh, name it. So I named it Gaming Stripped. Yours will 
correlate of what you have named yours with. So we want to have a color and we want it to be red. And the color of the brightness, this is up to you. I'm gonna choose 100 and we're gonna create that action. And then click to continue. And it says review and finish. Now, I strongly recommend to leave this as is. If you toggle to the right, then that means that you will start receiving applications when the applet is run. So that means you'll get an email um, whenever a user in chat runs this, uh, uh, this trigger through the channel points or the command. So just keep this off. Uh, we're gonna hit finish and uh, remember you renamed it as gaming red. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that. We're gonna hit finish now. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in our, um, our Mix It Up app. What we wanna do is click on the hamburger menu, scroll down where it says services. Then it'll say IFTTT. And you're gonna go ahead and click this and it's going to ask you for that key. You're gonna click on this blue link where it says webhooks page and once uh, you click on that, it will pop up uh, this page. This, uh, I had to uh, inspect element the key out and put in your key right here. Your key is a unique uh, key, which is looks like it's been randomly generated. Um, so you're gonna copy that key and you're gonna put it in towards the Mix It Up app, which will show right here. And you're gonna click log in and uh, then you are set. So this page also allows you to uh, make further modifications if you are into some other coding um, and you can test out the, if you type in uh, the gaming um, and it changed the thingy. So now I'm gonna have to edit that out. Great. Um, so now that uh, it's um, in here, um, you can click test it and you can actually see that your lights will change. So if you want to do it that way as well, um, let's go ahead and click out of here. So, um, we're going to create channel points here in a second here on Twitch, but we need to do that here on, um, on our mix it up app. So once we go towards the channel points, uh, you want to click add a command and you wanna make sure you uh, click advanced command. And as for the reward name, it needs to match uh, the channel point name on here. So for an example, if we go towards our um, channel points and click manage rewards, then we want to manage rewards and challenges. Then we're gonna create, uh, let's click out of here. We want to create a, uh, this is not where it's at. I'm sure this is where it's at. Customize display poops. No, no, that's not there. Oh, okay, here at the bottom, it'll say add a new custom reward. So you're gonna click on that and you're gonna give it a reward name. Now this right here has to match exactly um, the, the reward name here. So any capitalizations, any lowercase, it has to match or else it will not work. So that's highly important. So we're gonna type in gaming red and give it a description, it's optional. This will change my RGB light strips to red and give it the points that you want to that you want to give it for fo for smaller streamers um it, this is uh um my personal opinion is give it a, a a low cost uh for people who are more popular you know give it a higher cost so it, it all depends on what you want to do um we're going to go ahead and change the background color so it correlates with red uh you can also put in icons for it if you want to as well. And you can add more uh, uh, options such as cooldowns and put limits on it. Anyways, let's go ahead and click create. And now that we have, where is it? Gaming red. It shows up here on the menu for the channel points. 
Gaming Red. However, it's not working just quite yet because we still need to add that. So again, make sure it's uh, named the same, Gaming Red. And as for the action, we're going to scroll down and it'll show uh, if, then, then, that. And click Add. Then it's going to be the webhook name. So under the webhook name, we named it uh, Gaming underscore Red. Then we're going to add uh, another action and it's going to click the plus button and we're going to add a three second. So in this way, if you have a bunch of people spamming it, um, it will uh, be in intervals of three seconds after the next uh, channel point has hit. So it doesn't uh, create like some uh, uh, an effect where if you have an epileptic seizure, if you're prone to that. So um, again, it's just all in general of just spam. So we're going to go ahead and click the plus button. And now if we uh, go here, it will show up as gaming red. So if I uh, choose a different color real quick, uh, I went to purple. And now if I click on the plus button, it will change it to red. And it did. Uh, I promise you here on my edit, change it to red. Um, let's change it to blue. And what we want to do is go here uh, and change it to uh, to red and redeem that. And now it will change it to red. Yep, it did. So here on my end, it changed it to red. So hopefully that this video was helpful. And if it is, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit the post notifications, and hit the thumbs up. Uh, thank you for watching, and y'all take care. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care and thank you once again.